Tide, the wash day miracle that gets clothes cleaner than any soap of any kind, brings you that zany, lovable, clown of clowns, Red Skelton. T-I-D-E, Tide presents Red Skelton. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our first show. And we sincerely would like to thank you for being in our being our guest on the first show. I'm a little nervous tonight. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, I just put my hand on the table back there and got a message from the spirit world. <laughs> Warm up the car, Sam. <laughs> Anyhow, we went for a little trip this summer. I went fishing. Now, while we were fishing, a uh, little uh, 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 Richard came up and he says, uh, "Hey." What is them long fuzzy things that's got uh, thousands of legs on them and they got big fangs sticking out like that? I says, I don't know. He says, neither do I, but there's one crawling up your back like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, kids exaggerate when, when, they, when, they're, when they're out with other little kids after they come home from the vacation. I heard him talking to the little boy next door and he said, you should have been with us. He said, we was up in the mountains. And he says, a great big bear took after me. He was a greasy bear, a great big greasy bear. And he started after me, and I'm in the mountains. I got no place to go, so I ran up an alley. So he says, wait a minute, Buster, wait a minute. I thought you was in the mountains. He says, the Alleghenies, I says. The <laughs> he says, anyhow, this bear, we was playing nip and tuck. Every time I took a step, he nipped a seat right out of me pants. You know? <laughs> so finally, I ran till I couldn't go any further, and my back was against the wall. So I put up my old rusty gun. And the other kid says, hold it, Buster, hold it. Trusty gun. He says, have you ever seen it? <laughs> and he says, no, I never seen it. He says, I don't take very good care of it, and it's an old rusty gun. <laughs> he says, well, anyhow, I shoot it, and nothing happens. Nothing happens. So the bear is coming at me ferocious. Oh, his mouth is as wide open as can be, and his big fangs are sticking down. So I hold off, I'm going to bust him right in the nose. And I missed his nose, and I went right down through his tummy, grabbed a hold of his widow tail, turned him wrong side out, and he ran the other way. <laughs> he got down to the road, and he just started laughing and laughing, and finally he rolled over dead. The hair on the inside of him tickled him. <laughs> <laughs> while, while we were up, uh, up in the mountains, there's quite a few mosquitoes up there, and Richard's not really... A husky little guy yet. He's just a little fella, rather thin. In fact, a mosquito came over and bit him. As he pulled away, he had a corkscrew beak. And the mosquito says, well, dry bones. <laughs> Say, while we were in, uh, on the trip, we went to um, uh, Philadelphia. And while we was there, I saw a, a friend of mine who's on the show, by the way, again this year, America's foremost conductor and composer, David Rhodes. Come on, Dave. Come on out. <laughs> This is our sixth year together. Hey, we have a thing that happened. This really, this killed us. There was a big Texan walked into a bar in Philadelphia. And uh, look, you be the bartender, and let's show him exactly what happened. Hey, can I have my cowboy hat? Where's Dead Eye's hat? Dead Eye's hat. Dead Eye. Sam. <coughs> oh, there you are. Thank you. <laughs> Gonna miss that boy. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll be the, I'll be the, the cowboy. <clears throat> okay. Howdy there, bartender. How are you? How I'm are you? from Texas. Down there where men are men and women are women. What are you? I'm in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the line, but it's going to have to do. <laughs> Would you do me a favor, partner? Yes, sir. I'd yes, like sir. for him to see you. Move in oh, just a little. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh, I'll have a martini. I make it very dry. All right. Make All it right. with three quarts of gin and one quart of vermouth. All right. On second thought, make it real dry. Make that three quarts of gin and a half a quart of vermouth. Well, can I put a twist of lemon peel in? Look, partner, if I'd have wanted lemonade, I'd have ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> This summer, too, I had a lot of fun watching different people on television to get an idea of how different people work. And uh, with your permission, I'd like to show different people watching television shows. Could you open up, please? Open up. What did it do, heal up? <laughs> First, we have kids watching television. Did you ever see little kids watch television? They can't get close enough to the set. You know. <laughs> 
All I've got on the front of my set is big eyeballs. <laughs> then you have these fellows, what's those cowboy pictures? Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> Every time they ride by, they dirty up my living room. <laughs> then you have the guys that uh, hurry home to hear the convention, you know. These guys. <laughs> and a rest. I met a blonde down there. You can imagine the rest. <laughs> Pardon me. I went down to see what the new bathing suits almost look like. <laughs> Say, I'd like to show you one thing that I learned down at the beach is the different people, the way they actually act while they're at the beach. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe will get mad yet after that, I'll tell you. <laughs> now, did you ever see those guys down at the beach? They walk around like this, you know. <clears throat> no one's looking, they say, oh, what the hell? <laughs> no, see, you ever see those muscle men? They stand around like this, you know. You walk up to them, you say, how do you get to Los Angeles? They say, that way. <laughs> <laughs> Then we have different fellows, like, like the guy that, 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 uh... <laughs> I don't know if they know it or not, but whoever saw grass on a beach. <laughs> First you have at the beach a married man. A married man. <laughs> Thelma. <laughs> then you have those, uh, these nearsighted guys at the beach. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> Where are they? Uh, pardon me, I... Oh, that looks good. What we need is a good grass comber. <laughs> Well, pardon me, madam. <laughs> My bird watching glasses. <laughs> New Studi Baker. <laughs> Picasso. <laughs> oh, um, 
You know, dear, I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry that I uh, stayed in the water too long, darling. I'll uh, get dressed right away and we'll head for home, dear. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Why, sir, you're not my wife. <laughs> Then we have the, uh, the, the newcomers at the beach, these fellas. <coughs> See, there's no glass in there, I just do that. <laughs> then we have the, uh, the Romeo type, these fellas, real he-men boys. Skelton Scrapbook. Make Pug at back. All right, come on, get that next banner up in here. Start talking, boy. Now I'll find you. I'll find you. This? Oh, look, a canary that's outgrown its cage. How about that? Well, anybody for tennis? Huh? Hey, yo! What? This is not a tennis match. It's not a tennis match? That, oh, that. I keep forgetting where I'm at all the time. You see, I'm an all-around sport, I am. Would you mind teeing up for me there, dumb place, will you? All right, give me that ball. I don't... Yes, I, I thought something like that. It's a brown ball. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a, a, a brown prop man going too. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll, I'll knock it down. What's the par on it all, anyhow, huh? Well, the first hole is a four. What do I want? Put that down. Get in there and play ball. Oh, what kind of a game is it, anyhow? Don't yell. You just scared that little canary that was on my ball there. What's the matter with you, boy? Hey, your upper plate just fell out now. <laughs> hey, hey listen, let me ask you something. Yeah? How did you get on this team anyway? You're a prize fighter. I know I'm a prize fighter, you see, but last night, would you like to hear this? No. It, it's a long story. Not funny, but it, uh, you're going to hear it anyhow. <laughs> See, I had a fight here last night, and... Oh, they're towing a bell for somebody. <laughs> I had a fight here last night, and, uh, some guy... Stop it, will you? <laughs> he's still with me, boy. He tapped me on the back of the neck, but when I turn around, he's never there. <laughs> I had a fight here last night. That's the third fight in one night. <laughs> I had a fight here last night, and uh, when I woke up this morning, I was still in the stadium, so they hired me for the team, you see. You mean you got knocked out again last night? Yes, it was an, a lucky punch, though, a lucky punch. I uh, threw a right, see? Then I threw a left, see? Then I couldn't see, see? You mean you knocked yourself out? Yeah, that way it cuts out the middle, man, you see. Cuts out the middle. All right, come on here. Let's play ball. Well, give me a bat, boy. Give me a bat, somebody. Oh, that was a nice vintage, 1927. <laughs> Stop yelling, boy. You got coffee nerves. You know that, don't you? Oh! Crouch, boy. Crouch. Just crouch. That's all. Get that bump out of here. Coffee nerve. Coffee nerve. <laughs> Hey, you be careful how you talk to me. There's a guy up in the grandstand I happen to recognize who don't like umpires. Yeah, what about him? Last week, he got arrested for throwing a bottle out on the field. A lot of people throw bottles. This one had a baby on the other end of it. Uh. <laughs> Come on, let's play ball. Boy, give me a bat, boy. Give me a bat, for you. Here we are, kid. That's the old boy there. Where'd it go? Here we are. Here, I'll do it the hard way. I'll, I'll cue it in. There you are. There you are. Gee, that feels good. <laughs> hey, my pup, look out, Campus Grano, here they come. <laughs> hey, my pup, come here. Yes, sir. Do you know what the score is? Look, I don't know what the score is for the last 20 years. I'm not going to worry about it now. <laughs> All right, let's play ball. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know, I ought to get myself one of them things, you know, and then protect my nose when I'm in a fight. You see, my nose has been broke more times than a taxpayer. <laughs> well, why don't you take your nose and blow? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Not only did he step on my lap, but that didn't get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute, boy. <laughs> You see, <laughs> that's not really funny. And the only re reason we hired this guy, he's the only actor in town that can crouch. <laughs> All right, get in there. Play ball. Oh, what's the ball right in there, boy? Get ready now. There you are. There you are. Right. What? Ah, uh, boo. 
Well, hey, thanks. Hey, <laughs> How do you like it? The only guy that knew he's lied. One line. See, we had some good lines here, but the center cut them out on us. <laughs> I happen to be a lip reader, and I know that you ad lip. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Get your seeing eye dog and go home, will you? All the game! All, right, all the on, game! Oh. You know what's coming, don't you? <laughs> Now's a chance to go out and get a beer. <laughs> there you are, look at there. Yes. Look how home plate sparkles. Yes, sir. Tide gets home plates cleaner than any tote. <laughs> Not only that, it makes wash prints dazzling bright. Well, thanks for saying that. I didn't really want to say it, but my legs are getting sore from being down there. Crouch, crouch. Down, Buster, down. I've got a feeling this is a, a prison break! <laughs> Sure. I always wash my well, uniform you, in time. You, you, you look so uncomfortable, Doc. Here, we'll make it easy for this part, you see. No, it's on your mind. That's yes, why that's... I got the cleanest uniform in the league. Yes? I haven't gotten a base hit in five years, but they keep me around here because I always use Tide. Oh. What do you think of that? That's wonderful. You know something? Nobody ever argues my decisions. Watch out, there's a flamingo! <laughs> Well, regardless of him, I want to tell you, nobody argues about my decisions. You know why? No, why? Because when I call strike to a batter, yes. he doesn't beef no. because he's standing there admiring my tidy hands. <laughs> and he doesn't mind being called out. Oh. Now, I got a, no, I got a, I got a feeling this guy is, is not an umpire. He's pitching for Procter and Gamble. Huh? <laughs> Have you heard the great big new washing news? No, what is the great new washing news? <laughs> Except for bad stains, except for extra stains. Look, Tide, if you... Stay with it, boy, you'll get it. Stay with it. <laughs> you better stay with it or you ain't gonna stay with it, I'll tell you. <laughs> except, well, wait a minute. Read it, boy, read it, I mean. I'm gonna read it, brother. I wanna be oh, in Oh, an umpire with a good class again. You know what I mean? Now, have you heard the big wash day news? No. <laughs> Except for stubborn stains, Tide alone gets clothes whiter than if you added bleach to the wash. No, read that. The guy can't even read it. <laughs> Cincinnati, I love you. <laughs> you old Parker and Gamble fight on, fight on. But bleach, boy, get with it, get right, with now. it. Except for stubborn stains, Tide alone gets clothes whiter than if you added bleach to the wash water every wash day. <laughs> Boy, I hope I never get it punchy in this guy. <laughs> what did you say the name of that project was? Tide! T-I-D-E! Tide! Oh, come on, let's finish the game. I want to go down and buy a box of Tide. Let's get with it. Tide, huh? Let me fat for good old Tide. <laughs> oh, let me have it, will you? There we are. You see, this don't make much sense, but I play ball with the sponsors. <laughs> Skelton Scrapbook. Willie comes home. Well, here we are, our little trick or treat with 6% interest, isn't it? <laughs> Willie, will you please, please get rid of those fish? You've been carrying them around for two weeks. Yes, it's a good thing I caught that bottle of Airwick, wasn't it? Huh? <laughs> well, this is what I get for letting Nature Boy take care of the yard while we were away. <laughs> These are getting a little ripe, you know. Huh? Here, Kitty. Come on, Kitty. Guy. Come on. We better try to get it. You sure Taff ain't hiding out here somewhere? <laughs> here, come on. Don't try to find my way. Willie, what? quit feeding around in those bushes. There might be snakes in there. They have lived here for a long time, and they are no snakes. <laughs> You gotta lay off of that stuff, kid. I tell you. <laughs> oh, there is a snake. Look out! There he is. I got one. No, oh, that's a that's a stick I hit. <laughs> <laughs> Feels 
for some reason, this place just don't look right to me. It just don't look right. I have seen a lot of Lynn Lee's houses around, but this just don't look right to me. Oh, what? Willie! I'm not through yet. This just don't look right to me. <laughs> now, what kind of a story is that? <laughs> How do you like it? Even the shrubbery's falling apart. What kind of a tree was that? A nail grew in it. <laughs> well, let's, let's whip our way in here. That we might be in the wrong place, you know. You oh, can't... no, no, Willie. This is our house. Well, let's make sure, will you? Oh, of course. Oh, my gosh, we get out of here. Now, Willie, be careful. You'll hurt yourself. Oh. Well, not as much as I'm going to hurt that prop man oh, for making God. this little so <laughs> have to do it this way or they don't see the next joke. Now, <laughs> well, let's see if this is the right house. One, seven, two, eight, five, three, six, two, three, six, oh, one, four, one, five, eight, four, eight, oh, three and one half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that check. <laughs> well, never mind. Unlock the door and let's go. Well, can't you even find the key? I'm not looking for the key. Them mosquitoes were horrible up there. <laughs> oh, well, never mind the key. The door's probably unlocked anyhow. What do you mean the door's unlocked? You... I always lock the door. Really? Yes, really. Mm -hmm. I, you think I'm stupid or something to go away from my house and, and not unlock the door? Damn. <laughs> You're not, but the whole wall will go, Sam. You better hurry, Sam. Be good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, according to the blueprints, this is the living room. <laughs> oh, look, I'm pretty hokey, but I won't go for a gag like this. <laughs> go on, Harvey, go get your own show, will you? <laughs> I think this thing's been drinking. <laughs> it's as stiff as a board. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Harvey. Oh, I broke his little ear off. <laughs> Oh. Hey, Willie. Willie, why is that tree growing like that? Good heavens! I told you about throwing oh. apple cores behind that couch. <laughs> Naturally, the tree will grow toward the sun. Oh? I've got to get that hole fixed in the roof. <laughs> the sun shines bright. My old Kentucky home, there's an awful big hole in the roof. <laughs> I just thought that up. I did right this very minute. I thought that, oh, shut up. <laughs> well, oh, Willie, I the poof. Oh, our little house is oh. locked. <laughs> oh, Willie. Oh, my sunburn! <laughs> Stop doing that, will you? My well, sunburn. Yes, you had to go and suffer your way through trying to get a good suntan, and instead you get burned. Yeah, and then I sat around and peeled. And boy, when I peel, I peel. <laughs> there. Take it out and get it refilled. <laughs> get yourself a new oh, husband. Oh, our lovely home. Yes. It's lovely to be here. Be ever so green and crummy, there is no place <laughs> like it. Oh, it's good yes. to be back with us. Yes. Look at my old trophies. Oh. Hi, fellas. Oh, Willie's back. Oh, oh. Willie's home. Uh, over, boy, over, 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 boy, Adam, over, over, uh, heel, heel, point, point. That's what happens. You stay away from them for three weeks and they lose everything you've taught them. You know? Willie, why didn't you put the heads up instead of the tail? I'll tell you why. I scared myself that time. <laughs> I'll tell you why. why. I didn't put the heads up there. Yes? I'll tell you why. Why? As soon as I can think of the answer, I'll tell you why. <laughs> the head used to nip at me every time I went by. <laughs> oh. Well, it'll be out. <laughs> well, I'm awfully tired. I don't sit on that old chair until I brush it off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my chlorophyll has worn off. <laughs> oh, well. Kitchen. Now, let's go see the back porch, see what happened out there. I'm yes. going to mow the lawn this afternoon, see if I can find my house slippers. <laughs> Willie, yes. I'd like to ask you a little question. 
All right, I may give you a little answer. Did you cancel the milk company? I called up and told them to set the cow's faucet off for about three weeks. We would be gone. Yes, I canceled the milkman. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Oh, yes, I did. Oh, no, you didn't. Who wrote this? <laughs> Looks like we've hit a dead end street. I'll show you that I can't go look before I left. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, our half hour has now elapsed. I uh, sincerely hope that you had as much fun as we had, and we hope that you'll invite us back into your living room again next week. This year, we're going to be a little bit different on the finish of the show. None of that hokey... Oh! <laughs> has been brought to you by Procter & Gamble's Tide. And remember, it's smart to get tied in the giant economy size. More convenient, and it saves you money. Produced by Red Skelton. Directed by Martin Rackett.